Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Exile Club and welcome to today's video. What we're going to look at in today's video is the changes and improvements that have been rolled out to Pivot Tables since Excel 2016. So anybody using Excel 2019 and Excel 365 will have seen or may not yet have seen some of these new features and improvements to Pivot Tables. But before we get into this, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to also hit the notifications button so you don't miss any more of my videos. So if you're ready, let's get stuck in. We have some data here and it's quite a large set of, well it's not really that large, there's, four, there's almost 5,000 rows of data showing dates, products and values. And we're going to insert a pivot table and a pivot chart so I can show you the changes that have been rolled out so far. So we have our pivot table over here and our pivot chart here and we are going to drop in our value and we're going to also drop in our date. I'm going to make this chart just a little bit bigger so you can see the chart. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is the date fields. The date fields are now automatically grouped together. Prior to this you had to group the date fields together yourself to get the values that you want. And then you can just expand these fields as necessary in your table. Now you can also, as these date fields have been created, if you see down here in your rows, you can get rid of your years or your quarters or your dates because these are all these all come in as new fields. In addition to this, on a pivot chart, so we see the pivot chart here, we now have the ability to drill down and expand these items directly from within the charts themselves. So you can see how we can drill down and then drill back up again. Another change to pivot tables is the search. So now you can quickly search your fields to get the fields that you are looking for. And prior to this, there wasn't really a great way to search. Let's insert a slicer here for a minute. So we have insert and insert slicer. And I'm going to insert a slicer based on the product. Because now with the slicer, we see this multi-select option that we didn't have before. So now we can de we can deselect one or deselect two, and we can multi-select a few at the same time, dependent on whether we have multi-select turned on or turned off. So that's a great new addition to our pivot table slicers. And we can just clear that filter there. And when you format and design how your pivot table actually looks. So you can change your subtotals and your grand totals, your report layouts and so forth. You can change the pivot table styles and pivot table style options. So let's say you design a pivot table specific to your needs. You can store that as a template and reuse it whenever you want. To do this, if we say file and in file we go to options. Then from in options, you're going to select data. Now in data, we have some things here I'm going to quickly point out to you. We can disable that automatic grouping of date and time in pivot tables by clicking this box. So this automatic grouping that I showed you earlier on, you can actually disable it. You can also set your preference to a data model and, pi pi and power pivot if you select this box here. So that means you don't do direct pivot tables, it all goes into a model. But the default layout is what we were talking about there a second ago and you can edit the default layout. So in here you can change your subtotals, your grand totals and so forth. Then if you've saved or if you've import, if you have a saved layout, you can import that saved layout by clicking import. So first you can edit your default layout and then you can just import it. Once you import it then, you can use it with ever pivot tables that you want to use it on. So they are the main changes on pivot tables that have been rolled out since Excel 2016 was released. So they're in Excel 2365 and they're also in Excel 2019. 